Hi, so Jonathan here again. Yeah, so uh, continuing with my tour of the advanced passenger train. So, let's just have a look at the toilet. That's the view that way. That's the view that way. Um, I mean, let's lift up the pan, the pan walk lift. The lid, sorry, the lift walk. The lift won't, the lid, the lift, the lift won't lid, the lid won't lift. I guess they've done that purposely to take it out of the commission so as you can't um, actually have a poo in there. The door itself, it's a little stiff, but the sliding mechanism seems to be okay. What's, so, it, yeah, you press your foot on there for the water, which I have seen in some other trains. Cause you know, not many of these days, hopefully. Now this is good, please take the pip towel and that, and that any, obviously left. That's a lot better than them pox, poxy hand dryers. I mean, look, just look, talking about that hand dryers on the pendolinos. And, whoops. Actually, there's still some rubbish in there. Some rubbish in there. Yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, the hand dryers on the pendolino. Pendolinos, take it the bog rolls here, mind you. So, oh, yeah. Little slats at either end, the bog rolls here. I'm guessing. There's even a little cigarette ash box there. Yeah, you don't get that these days. Yeah, the uh, the hand towels are a better idea than the um, what's it? The dryers, because dryers don't work half time. Half time, the dryers, it's like put your hand under, under to um, set it off and it goes. Zzzz. Yeah, uh, so pep towels are a much better idea. Here we have the British Rail shaving socket, so that's nice. And I'm assuming that would have been a mirror there. Um, oh, what's this? Yeah, no, but there's an alarm here again. I say I've never done this before. And there you go. Oh no, that one pushes back. The other one I couldn't push back. Oops. Oh no, it doesn't now. So there you go. Penalty for improper use, 50 quid. I don't know if that's changed. Um, yeah, you have, this, you have a couple of hooks here. For your jacket and your bag, jacket and your hat, whatever. Um, Loose sort of construction. The lights are still in there, look. Two lights would have been enough for us, but it is. Jeez, I can imagine that ever staying up. There you go. Um, now, I don't know what, what is this thing here? I'm sure we're captures engaged, and this lever. What is this lever for? I'll have to look into that later on Google Land, because fuck knows. Is that for like disconnecting the trailer, the carriage from the next carriage? No idea. Don't know. Um, yeah. Ooh, bit of a gap there, look. The rain will get in. Yeah. So this is a bit of an exhibition area which I was in earlier, so I'll not dwell here. Um, yeah, very interesting. Um, but need to call the guard if you want to call the guard. And here is where the guard would be then. Interesting. Using the public address system. Make sure equipment is not in use or about to be used by another member of the train crew. Catering announcements are made after the guard's announcements. Yes, well the guard should take priority I guess. Anyway, some instructions there for the guard on using the address system. There's a defibrillator. Oh no, there wasn't a defibrillator on the train. But there is one in the signal box cafe and in Tesco's upstairs. There's Tesco Extra next door. So I guess a few folks who are looking around these trains are going to be sort of old timers. Here again, look, is this strange, flimsy plastic roof, roofy stuff. That is ridiculous. Anyway, here it is. Um, oops, the phone. 
that the guard would have used when needing to call or talk to the such as the driver or to make announcements etc yeah hello driver uh, how long do you estimate until we get to um, I don't know which way are we going uh, Waddington how long to Waddington Bank Key excellent I will tell the passengers that um, yeah so what was here a little button of some, uh, there's a little switch look I guess that's possibly switch on what was that I don't know switch on when you need to maybe you have to pull that button while you're making announcements what have we got here tilt hang on is this the, would the guard control the tilt surely not we have here look tilt off and on air conditioning off and on Oh, uh, these are little spindles, so there would be a switch on here. So you turn the tilt off, turn the tilt on, turn the tilt off, turn the tilt on. Air conditioning, uh, air conditioning off, air conditioning on. Half lights, full lights, half lights, full lights, half lights, full lights. The brake pressure, we've got axle 1 and axle 2. Um, okay, let's hope you would have an equal amount. I don't know, no, maybe not. It will adjust whichever axle is in front. I don't know. T tilt station active and test. Reset on off. Up here, we've got alarm in other brake, passenger alarm, and something else. I can't read in this light. But but there, there you go, a little two of the, there's no lock on here, can't get locked in, can I know? Two of the gap, oh look at this, the door doesn't, the door doesn't shut, whoops, it's that hinge look, watch, oh there, it's shut now, bit of a loose hinge, yeah, I will see some of these, um, they only have two, they only had two as well, we could have put one in the middle, there's one, one there, one there. Should have put one in the middle. British Rail Engineering. Number of buttons here. Van lights. Number of buttons. Didn't say what before. Nice to have a play around. Um, what's this? Right, so I'm guessing possibly this this section. I don't know what would have been in here because do you ever have seats in here? I'm thinking this end is probably a, not accessible for the passenger because this is where the power card is, and then you've got all these what's it called? Is um, all these controls for the tilt and stuff, and all these buttons. These can't be. These can't be for the passengers. The passengers can't have been allowed in here, surely. So I don't know, maybe this was something else in here. This could have been the storage area and the bikes and the what's what not. Obviously these are passenger doors. You've got a toilet. Well what's a toilet? These are passenger doors. Uh guards compartments, buffet Ah, this was the buffet car. So this was the buffet car. Buffet and dining cars and guards compartments. So yeah, you always had needed a buffet car. Now that would explain as well something in here. Uh, maybe it has the, uh, the hot plate in there. Look, bloody hell! Shit. There's a hot plate here. Oh, there was, as it says. I'm assuming there would have more than one hot plate. For the buffy car, hope I haven't broken this door. No, it's actually better now better than it was. Great, so thanks for watching. I'm going to pause again for what I can't, I can't remember whether it's part five. I think it's part five. Jeez, I was getting worried there. Thought that was a, going to be a Jimmy Savile 
adverse for the age of the train but it's not it's something about do not go between the bogey and the body on APT vehicles as the gap between them may close i.e. don't put your hand in the tilting part of the train um, that's not like Jimmy Savile because Jimmy Savile would put his hand anywhere um, but yeah we've had a good look, good look around here the Scottish um, upholstery um, I wonder what these little clips are on the top do you know I might even be holding things together no surely not do you know maybe put do you know actually I've got this place for reserved cards or not but anyway thanks for watching I think that's part four of my look around the advanced passenger train um, make sure you tune in for part five bye for now